and welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video dunkin donuts came out with their fall items okay and this started on august 14th or 16th it just started okay and i wanted to try some of the things out so i have two of the drinks the pumpkin munchkins and the maple sugar bacon sandwich okay and they have quite a few new things so they do have a pumpkin donut a pumpkin muffin and pumpkin munchkins okay they brought back the maple sugar bacon sandwich as well as the wrap and they also brought back the maple sugar snack pack that they do with the little bag of like little bacon pieces pretty good i just got the sandwich and the munchkins and then they have quite a few like fall drinks obviously pumpkin spice lattes are back both hot and iced okay they do have a nutty pumpkin iced coffee um or you could do like a warm coffee with that i got the nutty pumpkin cold brew i don't know which one of these it is but it's one of these two and then i also got the pumpkin macchiato because that just sounded so amazing i want to try the drinks first so this one is the nutty pumpkin cold brew and then this one is the pumpkin macchiato pumpkin ice macchiato which one should we do first Let's try. Okay, cheers, cheers. Okay, before I like start going in with my opinions, I am not a huge pumpkin or cinnamon fan, okay? And I understand that fall is all about pumpkins and cinnamon, but I'm just like not. So I really try to look for like alternative fall like drinks and snacks and things like that. Something that's obviously going to be like super good for me, but also like pumpkin-y so that I can feel like I'm in the fall spirit. This is really good. It's not like too pumpkin overpowering. I would definitely get this again. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, that's pretty good for pumpkin. Okay, so let's try the macchiato next. And this is just a regular pumpkin macchiato. I think I like this one a little bit more. For those of you that like bitter coffee, Get the cold brew, the Nutty Pumpkin Cold Brew, so good. And the, those of you that like, I know it's just a little bit more sweet, but also not too big on pumpkin, definitely try this pumpkin macchiato. It still tastes like a macchiato, but with a hint of fall. And this one's a bit sweeter than this uh, cold brew is. Let's look at the munchkins next. So I did just get a pack of three munchkins. I only have two in here because my boyfriend had one. <laughs> And he gave these a nine, okay? So we will see what I think about them, but this is what they look like. I have never tried these. I stay away from everything pumpkin, but I see why he gave those a nine. Those are fucking delicious. Those with, oh, a coffee? Okay, so this is the maple sugar bacon sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Okay, so that's what she looks like. Cute, cute. I believe I've already had this before, but it's very good. How's everybody been? I have been amazing recently. I've just kind of been thinking about like all the amazing things that have happened to me this year. I went through like a period where I was kind of like <laughs> really sad. <laughs> it was like a couple of weeks and it was like getting kind of, it was getting kind of bad. I 
I think I've like managed to, you know, yank myself out <laughs> again. <laughs> um, I've started going to the gym again. I think that was one of the biggest reasons why I felt that way. I stopped going to the gym for like almost a month and a half, you guys, and it was absolute. It was horrible, okay? Because I'm not like a huge like workout person. I just like to work out. I like to try to like maintain myself and also improve while I'm there. Um, that just makes you feel good, you know what I mean? Um, but I wasn't going and it was kind of like taking a toll on my mental health. I'm not gonna lie, that and just like obviously like life happens and things here and there, so but I feel good, I feel better. Um, I've actually started working out again. I started last week. Last week I went, I think, four days to the gym, which is wild because um, I wasn't going a single day. Before I was doing like five to six days a week working out and that was like really good for me. But I think I was getting tired. I was getting like so tired of constantly doing the same thing and I thought, oh, like I'll take a little break and then I did and the break took too long. I don't know, bitch, but like we back, okay? So many amazing things are coming up, okay? I got Miss Carol G tickets. I'm so excited, you guys, for the end of September. Okay, September 21st, she's coming to Georgia. Just coming to Atlanta. And I'm so excited. Okay, that's why we got her on today. Speaking of Carol G, did you guys see that she's pregnant? Wait. Like, if it's true or not, because I just saw it, like, on a video on a TikTok. You know, the internet be making up lots of shit, but I did see, um, at her LA show, she did, like, uh, kind of dedicate Luz Gafitas to Fade, and honestly, good for her. I'm so happy when she announced that she was going to be a parent with Fade, Anuel went and, like, Post to maybe his new girlfriend, but I don't even think he's like even divorced yet from Yailin. Oh, guys, that shit is messy. He is a messy motherfucker. But honestly, good for Carol. I'm so happy that she is feeling a lot better and she's she's just like in her like happy girl era. She's being treated right finally. And uh you guys, I love Carol G. I really, really love her new album, the Mañana Sara Bonito. Bichota season, of course, as well. Mañana Sara Bonito and Bichota season. They are the only two albums that I have ever heard that I have had zero skips for me. Like, absolute no skips. Like, I listened to them on repeat. And I was, at the beginning when Mañana Sara Bonito came out, I was, like, sad because she wasn't going to do a tour for it. And then I saw that she was. Bitch, best believe I got on it. <laughs> That's my birthday present for my boyfriend because my birthday is in October, but Carol G's not going to be here in October, so he got me tickets to go see her. And honestly, like, to my man, thank you to my man. Like, and my man, thank you to my man. Boyfriend's really fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's a badass, so whatever. Don't tell him though, because his head will get bigger than it is. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, I'll be right there, okay? I love you. He will literally eat my food if he comes up here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. We got a Roomba. I will never live the rest of my life with a broom ever again okay i'm not doing it i'm not doing it and this is exactly why i didn't want to get that fucking roomba <laughs> we got it off of amazon it was on sale it was originally like 350 and we got it on sale for 250 bitch what a fucking steal to me <laughs> came in the very next fucking day um we've already used it once and me and my sister spent 30 minutes walking around with it, just watching it. By far, the most amazing invention that anybody has ever invented. And I think whoever invented that Roomba, honestly, should be king of the world or queen, whoever it was. Like, please be ruler. What the fuck is a broom? Is that like a new Starbucks drink? The Brumachino? <laughs> 
Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> well, I am done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for breakfast today. That's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, for being here. As always, I appreciate you. Whether you will ever get to my life. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Enjoy the best rest of your week. Don't forget to smile. Be happy. Drink some coffee. Smoke some weed. I love it a bitch. I'll see you guys very soon for another video.